Hello, Jess Too Good here, and I love when we get Lego sets that just kind of come out of nowhere and show up on Shop at Home, and it's like, wait, that's a new set. Wait, what? And that's kind of what happened today with Lego City. There's three summer 2023 sets for 2K Drive that just showed up. 2K Drive being the video game that just released, and one of them is really interesting in my opinion. I don't really care about the other two, and that is this Monster Truck Combo Pack. I really like the design of these monster trucks, which are just really goofy, and the set doesn't feel overpriced at all. This is $30 for these two trucks, and I'm like, yeah, that's a perfect price for this set. That feels like the price of this set if it was released a couple years ago, where it seems like so many sets nowadays are so overpriced. The truck to the left is a taco truck, apparently. Kind of wish they included a taco print piece but it shoots out guacamole as those missiles there. There's a chili pepper sticker at the side, and the general color scheme is just a lot of fun. And then to the right, they have a pirate monster truck, which as a classic pirate fan, this may not be the same design as something you'd find matching those classic sets, but still is really ridiculous and fun. I don't have too much else to say with the builds of these two, except, yeah, they're fun. They're not, like, something super realistic, but who cares? At this point, this is just a goofy-looking set, and in the best way possible. Not overpriced at all, but my favorite part of this set is the minifigures, both of which have exclusive prints and recolors. So you have that tricorn piece with just tan hair, which apparently hasn't come in that color before. Closest would be the Series 20 Pirate Gal. And the design of that torso I really like, with a little shark right there. Then for the luchador guy for the taco truck, I like the torso print as well as getting a face print that reminds me of the Series 1 Wrestler, which is a really nostalgic figure for me. This is kind of like an update on that design with the blue base, and I like the reference there. Again, it's $30 and it has 301 pieces. However, the next two don't really do it for me, so there's the modified race cars which have an interesting color scheme, but I just really don't care about the build. It reminds me of something like uh, Miles Morales' vehicle from that Morbius set that released recently. That's a specific type of car design I really can't stand in LEGO. I don't like uh, either of those vehicles. Best part would be the minifigures. In particular, finally getting the Soldier 76 hair in a brown color is really welcome. And this is $30 once again for 359 pieces. And then there's the combo race pack, which has three vehicles, 362 pieces for $30. And this combo race pack set, again, just kind of has generic vehicles. I guess that's like the 2K drive vehicle. The speedboat is probably my favorite out of the bunch, but yeah, not going to pick this one up, except good hair pieces where you have that hair piece in blue, which was previously only used in the BTS set. But even more particular, this hair piece in dark red, which I believe is exclusive to this set. It has not come in any other set in that color, so that's really welcome. And it's kind of cool how each of these sets has an exclusive hair piece. It's time to brick some pieces of those on August 1st. <laughs> Regardless, let me know what you think of this surprising, coming out of nowhere LEGO City way for 2K Drive. Subscribe here for more LEGO news and commentary, and let me know which is your favorite in the comments below. Peace out. Bye.